everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another recent reads video, numbers 91 through 100 from May of this year. I'm catching up. It's the thought that counts, right? So number 91 is Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell. Oh my goodness, this was my second Gaskell that I read this year and it was such a good time. So we follow the story of Molly Gibson and her mother died when she was younger and her father decides that she needs a mother. So he remarries and then we get a new stepmom, Hyacinth, and a stepsister, Cynthia. This is kind of a slice of life Victorian novel. We really get to see the day-to-day -day life of these characters and really get to know them. There are so many funny moments and one-liners. This is one of those books where it would be so lovely to be able to read it again for the first time because I had such a wonderful time reading it. I also got to be on a live show with Kate Tao, Rainy from Rainy Day Reads, and Kieran from Katie Books where we talked about this and it was so much fun and kind of chaotic with a lot of laughter so I will link it down below but please go read Wives and Daughters because it's wonderful and I do plan on rereading it soon. I obviously gave that one five out of five stars. Number 92 was One Piece The Oath. Number six in the One Piece series by Ichiro Oda translated by Andy Nakatani. One Piece is so much fun and it's one of those mangas that I can just pick up when I want something light and breezy and that will make me laugh. So I'm really enjoying making my way through this series and I give this one four stars. Number 93 was Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I have started rereading this series with my friend Kate from the Literary Apothecary in preparation for book nine that is coming out later this year. <sighs> I forgot how much I love this series. Outlander is so wonderful. It's historical fiction with fantastical elements and time travel and romance, drama. It's so fantastic and so layered and complex with amazing characters. So five out of five stars. Highly, highly recommend. Number 94 was Cool for the Summer by Dahlia Adler. This is a standalone contemporary novel and it's about a girl who's coming to terms with her sexuality and it was kind of tropey. It's a high school girl, but I had a good time reading it. It was fun. It was kind of like brain candy and it was a good palate cleanser for me. So I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. Number 95 was Death B Comes Her by Nancy Coco. This is book one in the Oregon Honeycomb Mystery Series. I really enjoyed the mystery and the characters. I do wish we had gotten a little bit more detail about the town and the setting because normally with cozy mysteries, the setting is almost a character itself. That is one of the tropes in Cozy Mysteries, and we didn't really get that in this one. But overall, I gave it four out of five stars, and I'm looking forward to reading the next one in the series. Number 96 was Caramel Crush by Jen McKinley. This is book nine in the Cupcake Bakery Mystery series. I love this series so much. We have such great characters, zany characters, all set in a cupcake bakery. What is better than that? So I gave this one 3.5 out of 5 stars. And number 97 was Wedding Cake Crumble, which is book 10 in the Cupcake Bakery Mystery Series. And I gave that one 4 stars. Number 98 was Wild Seed by Octavia Butler. It's book 1 in the Pattern Master series. It is a sci-fi novel, and I have never read any Octavia Butler before. And this one was really good. This was for Angela's Patreon read and it was such a good discussion. I feel like 
now that I've read this, I can see her influence in other authors' work like Jemison, and it was so interesting, and it really just made me think. I, I just loved it, so I gave it four out of five stars. Number 99 was The Romance of a Shop by Amy Levy. This is a Victorian novel. It follows a group of sisters and they open their own photography shop and things go from there. The first part of the book I really enjoyed. I like that we didn't have the stereotypical female protagonist that didn't go out in the workforce. I really did enjoy seeing women owning their own shop. But then the second half just kind of went downhill and it was just kind of meh. So I gave that one 3.5 out of 5 stars. And number 100 was Dying for Devil's Food by Jen McKinley, book 11 in the Cupcake Bakery Mystery Series, and I gave that one a 4 out of 5 stars. So have you read any of these books? If so, please let me know down below. If you've made it this far, drop some kind of dessert emoji down below. As always, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you'd like. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.